Hello everybody, this is Boom Badger, and we will be playing through what I think is a short game. I'm not sure, this may be a few videos, this may only be a few. Maybe one, who knows? But the game is called The Raccoon Who Lost Their Shape, created by Fathom and Scuffy. Let's go ahead and... People come in many different shapes. Literal shapes. Shapes with faces on them. Shape people. Many years ago, I discovered I had an ability. The ability to contact shape people who have died, their souls trapped forever in the shape person... Shape person death realm. I am a medium between the world of the living and the dead, by only, but only for shape people. People are literally large, flat, conscious shapes with faces on them, and nothing else. This is my story. Okay. I have no one to call. And no one calls me. This button sends in the next client via the state-funded Shape People tube system. It is a network of tombs that shaped people travel through to get places because they do not have arms or legs. They are just shapes. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Send in the client. Boop! I pressed it. That is a shape. Hello, I am a pentagon. Pentagons have five sides and five corners. Yes, I know what a pentagon is, sir. Do not think for a single moment that your knowledge of shapes impresses me. I am here because I need you to contact my beloved and recently dead friend, who is a circle. Yes, you heard me, a circle. You might wonder how someone with such an abundance of sides could be friends with someone who has none. It was a lot of work, but the circle finally understood the true superiority of sides and angles. And thus, they also came to understand the truth of their own inferior shape. You sound like a terrible friend. I would not expect you to understand. You, too, lack sides. And manners. The reason I need to contact my dead, sideless friend is because of a locked door I have discovered hidden behind a bookshelf in their old library. I would like you to ask them where I might find the key to this door. Can you do that for me? Can you contem com contemplate? Can you complete this simple task? A job's a job. Yes. We all have our roles. And your role right now is to serve me. I have brought with me a personal item of theirs. A book. This is all you need to contact them, right? A personal item that is their, that they owned? I need some time off work a week or two. Yes, that is all I need to summon a dead shape ghost. Good. Here's their personal item. Let me know when you know the location of the key. I still have work to do, I can't leave yet. I mean, I could leave. I want to leave. But I'm, but I'm not going to leave. I guess I go back here. I like the little heart mug with the candle in it. That's nice. This is my summoning altar. I use it to summon the ghosts of shape people. Shape people are the only people who seem to re seem to turn into ghosts when they die. Sometimes I worry that is because non-shaped people like myself do not have a soul. I think a lot about my own death. Shall I summon the dead shaped person I need to talk to? Summon the shaped ghost. Oh. One hundred percent accurate ghost summoning. Oh, hello, I am a circle. But I'm sure you knew that. I wasn't expecting to be summoned today. How interesting. May I help you with something? A friend of yours hired me to summon you. They found a locked door in your old library and would like to know the location of the key. Which friend might you be referring to? Pentagon. Haha. <laughs> ah, yes, my friend. Did they tell you all about the glory of angles and sides? Did they explain in great detail the perfection of their holy pentagon form? Please, tell them that 
t please tell them that the key is hidden behind the old wall clock that hangs on the other side of the library. Do you know what is behind the locked door? A canister of toxic gas, rigged to spray anyone who goes snooping around while the where they do not belong. Tell that pentagon that the great treasures hidden inside the room are theirs for the taking. Ha! <laughs> Thank you for your information. Actually, there is one more thing. Have you happened upon any cr crescents during your time in the realms of the dead? No, not that I can remember. Crescents are fairly rare as far as shape people go, so I am sure I will recall having seen one. Ah, well, thank you anyway. Oh, there's a crescent. Sigh. This isn't even a good photo, but it's the only one I have left. So I guess the crescent is my friend. Have you discovered the location of the key? It's behind the wall clock. Ah yes, I know of that clock. You have completed your task. I shall submit payment for your fee through the Shape Network payment system. Good day. Well, my work for the day is done. Time to go home. Or I could just sleep at the office. Hmm. I think I'll still have some ramen at home. If I got home and I don't have any ramen left, I'm going to be all torn up about it. There was no ramen. What a sad story. Time for another case, I suppose. All I need is to do is push that button. That's all I need to do. So I press the button and send my next client. Yes. Beep boop. Here we go. Yes, hello. I am a square. Four points and four equal sides. It is very easy to remember what a square looks like. And that... I can't read that. And that case can be a small comfort in hard times. It's pixelated, it's hard to read. What a lovely office you have. I hate my office and also my life. How can I be of service? Oh yes, of course. The reason I am in need of your services is that I am very much want to send a message to a departed friend, a rectangle. We were very similar in many ways, as you might imagine, but just not in but not just in shape, in spirit as well. Oh, what a good friend they were. What a very good friend indeed. What message would you like? Oh yes, the message. I would like you to tell the rectangle. Tell them that I still think very dearly of them. Okay, I'll let them know. Wonderful, thank you so much. Here is a personal item of theirs to assist with the summoning. It's a letter I wrote many years ago telling them what a dear they are. They framed it and put it on their nightstand, and they wrapped a bow around the frame. Thank you, this should work. I'll let you know when the summoning is complete. I am so nervous. I hope that they still think dearly of me. Time to peek behind the veil of death once again. Shall I summon the dead shaped person I need to talk to? Of course. I did not just spill a ton of water right on my lap. It's good. It's good. Wow, I've been summoned. How thrilling. I love your coat. How wonderful to be summoned by someone with such a delight coat. For what purpose have I been brought back to the world of the living? A friend of yours has hired me to give you a message. A friend? Oh my. Was it my square friend? This seems like the wonderful sort of thing that they would do. Yes, it was indeed your square friend. Screw off Ace's webpage storage. I have to click back into the game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What was the message? They want you to know that they still think very dearly of you. Oh my god, yes. Yes, hooray! Can you really- relay a reply for me. Can you tell them that I continue to think very dearly of them as well? Uh, sure. I'll go and let them know. Oh my god, thank you. Did you tell them? Oh my, what did they say? 
I'm so excited to hear. They continue to think very dearly of you as well. That is amazing news. I knew in my soul why I was am so happy to hear it. Can you do me one more favor? Can you give them one more message for me? Sure, what is the message? Can you tell them that I am certain we will be dear to each other like, forever? Can you tell them that for me? Sure. Thank you so much for your help. I'm so excited for them to know th how I feel. Wow, hello again. How did my square friend react when you told him about my continued de dearness? They want to get shape married to you. Well, probably we shouldn't lie. They are certain of your mutual dearness. Or last forever. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel the same way. Tell them that I feel the same way. Sure, I will. Oh, uh, one last thing. Do you know any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? No, I don't think so. Why do you ask? Just looking for someone who I... never mind. How did they re react? I must know. They feel the same way. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you so much for all your help, dear friend. I will send your payment and tip through the network. I hope you have a wonderful week in life. I find no satisfaction in my work anymore. Although I'm not sure if I ever really did. But it pays the bills. More often than not, it does not pay the bills. Oops, missed. Okay, one more time. Boop, there we go. Pressed it. A triangle. Hey, I'm a triangle. Whatever. I'm not a big deal. Who cares? Are you the summoner? Yes, I am the summoner. Good. I went to like two places already and they were both the wrong place. You're hard to find. Someone has the wrong address. We should look into that. But yeah, I need you to summon someone. A star. A big pointy star. And you know what a star is, right? Yes, I'm familiar with that shape. Good, alright. Here's the thing of... Here's the thing of theirs. You need a thing, right? It's a sort of wallet thing, I think. I guess it's just a regular wallet. Looks weird, though. You know how... You know now that I'm spending a lot of time looking. It doesn't actually look that weird. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it. So, yeah, their wallet. Here you go. This should work. Thank you. Alright, great. Summon them and tell them the triangler says they're sorry. I wish I had, like, bigger words or whatever, but I don't think it matters. Sorry should be good enough. Eh. Let me know when it's all done, okay? Doing this ritual feels exactly like you would expect. Touching death to feel. It's not a great feeling. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Oh, that felt very weird. You're a raccoon! Hello. I've heard of these summoning things, but I didn't expect one would happen to me. So, uh, what can I help you with? I was hired by a triangle to summon you and to let you know that they're sorry. Are you serious? They're sorry? They murdered me! They put a knife right in my shaped face! Oh, uh, I did not know that. Wait a minute. What did they give you to bring me here? You need a personal item of mine, right? They gave me this, a uh, wallet. What? That's the wallet they stole f when they killed me. They killed me for that wallet. My perfect star face got stabbed for that thing. The gall. The absolute gall. Well, uh... That's the extent of the summoning. They didn't have any other messages for you. Sorry about all this. Unbelievable. Tell them I hope that all their angles get ripped off. Tell them I hope someone sandpapers away their terrible shape face. 
Okay. Hey, one last thing. Have you run into any crescents during your time in the Death Realm? What? No. I don't care. Go away, I'm done with this. Sh shouldn't I call the police? Hey, yeah, did you tell them I'm sorry? Yeah, they didn't like it. Figured as much. The past is the past, though. Can't dwell on old mistakes. I had to put this behind me, and now it's over. Thank you for your help, or whatever. I left some cash on your desk. Later. I'm pretty sure we should call the police. I mean, like... There's privacy things, and but I don't think that counts. I've been doing this for years, and I've only met three or four shape ghosts who have have seen a crescent. And it has always been the wrong crescent. I'm not sure why I keep doing this. Because you have no other monetizable skills. Another day, another button. What a life. Shall I press the button and send my next client? Six sides, six points. I'm a hexagon, and I have arrived. You must be the summoner. I can tell because I was just looking at a photograph of you. I realize you are probably nervous dealing with a shape of such mathematical elegance. If there is anything I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know. Shape's a shape. What a simple view of things you have. That is not a judgment, just an observation. If anything, I envy your simplicity. Before we begin, I have an important query. Can you summon any shape? For instance, can you summon shapes that have even more sides and points than I do? Yes, I can summon any deceased shape person, no matter the shape and no matter the number of sides or points. I can even summon shapes with no sides or points, such as circles. All that I need is an item that they owned and interacted with while alive. Ah, yes, I do have such an item. The shape I would like to summon is a cross. Twelve sides, twelve points. Perfection. It shall flows through me just thinking about them and their glory. I must admit, I am worried that I am not worthy of their acknowledgement. I am a, ghost a ghastly shape in comparison. An abomination. I am six sides of trash and six points of garbage. Same. What is more special? It is difficult to explain to non-shape. There is mathematical importance that runs through the core of our being. Anyway, here is the item you require. It is a rose, which I have pressured and preserved. It was thrown to me by the cross during one of their performance. They were a singer. Their music lifted me out of the dark, darkest period of my life, and I owe them everything. I just, I want them to know. I'm sorry, this feels a bit silly now that I'm here. I'll summon them and let them know. Thank you, summoner. Here we go, time to laugh in the face of death. Shall I summon the dead shapers? Oh, I was expecting, like, biblical cross, not an X. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, it's been almost a year. Same coat, huh? Hey, Cross. How have things been in the death realm? Just the usual sort of drama. My trio split up, so I'm looking to start a new group to sing with. Oh, I was briefly dating a, a Decagon. You can imagine how that went. They managed three days before bringing up the perfection of ten gons over all other shapes. Ha, huh, speaking of which, just tell your client that you always what you always tell them. The cross is that you are too that you too are a shape of worth and dignity. Did you know that I am still getting summoned at least once a week for this kind of thing? It's sweet, but it's also really depressing. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. It was good to see you again, and sorry if I interrupted anything. Nah, I had nothing going on today. Oh hey, I ran into a crescent a month or, or two ago, but it wasn't the one you knew. Just wanted you to know 
that I'm keeping an eye out on you. Whatever. Thanks, Cross. I appreciate it. My mouth is getting really dry. It's getting hard to speak. No problem, Raccoon. See you around. You were able to summon the Cross. Did you give them my message? Yes, the cross appreciated your sentiments and wanted me to tell you that you are a shape of worth and dignity. How extraordinary. A shape of so many sides and points saying that I, that it, it means so much. Thank you for your help. I'll send your payment right away, through the network of course. I must go now. I have a lot to think about. Extraordinary. I wonder what my life would be like had the fire, fire never happened. If a single night it hadn't consumed both the life of my crescent and any item that would have let me contact them in the death realm. No use thinking about these things, and yet I cannot stop. I should treat myself to a pizza. The pizza place was already closed. It's a Sunday. Um... I'm not too sure how I would be able to save this. I don't want to hit exit. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can save. So we're just head on through. I guess it'll just be an extra long episode. When was the last time I went outside? I wonder if the weather's nice today. Probably not. Hasn't been for a while. Shall I press the button and send my next client? I pressed the button. No turning back now. Ding dong. Who's there? It's me. Parallelogram. Parallelogram who? A quadri quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. That was a joke, but it's a joke based on the truth. Huh? Yes, you get it. Parallelograms are not usually comedians, but I know many jokes, and I enjoy telling them. Would you like to hear other jokes? No. I don't want math jokes. Clearly your sense of humor is out of shape. Because you're not a shape. And I am a shape. We shouldn't get down to business. Which means no more funny business. I'd like you to find my heart. No, I do not mean the organ, because shape people do not have flesh parts. Also, when I say heart, I do not mean a romantic longing. I'm talking about a shape person whose shape form is a heart. Okay. Understood? Where are you standing under? That was another joke. I enjoyed doing improv improvisional jokes now and then. Here's an item they owned while they were alive. It is a joke book. They gave it to me when they discovered that they were dying. Dying for me to tell more jokes. That's awful. This should work. Do you have a message you would like to tell me to pass along to them? I would like you to let them know that I'm still telling jokes every single day and every married day. Also, please ask them if they have learned any good jokes since they've been dead. I'm dying, too, you know. Sure. Was there anything else? That is all. Thank you for your help, raccoon. Oh, no. I do not know any raccoon jokes. I think of a raccoon joke for next time. I'm starting to sympathize with this poor raccoon. I wish the candles in this room were scented. Shape ghosts smell like sweaty crocodiles. What happened? Oh, I've been summoned. Neat. How can I help? I've been hired by a parallelogram to give you a message. Ah, ha. Did you hear some, uh, hilarious jokes? You could say that. They mean well. They have a hard time communicating with people, and the joke stuff helps with that. The jokes are terrible, but it helps them think about what they're trying to say. I wish I could have done more to help them, but then I went and died. How are they doing? They- <coughs> Ugh. They want you to know that they're still telling jokes every day. Actually, the exact words wording was, every single day and every married day. Believe it or not, their jokes have gotten better since I last saw them. That's awful. 
I'm really glad to hear that they're still talking to people. I've been worried. They're also dying to know if you've learned any new jokes since you died. Oh, let's see. What did the square say to the circle? Not to take sides, but you're pretty pointless. I'll be honest, I'm not much better at jokes than they are. I'm sure they'll love that. Can you tell them that I'm so happy that they're still telling jokes and that I miss hearing them? Will do. Oh, one last thing. Do you know of any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? Just one. Why? Do you know how long ago they died? And do you know if it was in a house fire? Oh, um, sorry. I don't know how they died. I know it was a while ago, like a hundred years or so. Oh, okay. That wouldn't be the crescent I'm looking for then. Thanks anyway. No problem. What is black and white and red? A raccoon book. Because raccoons are black and white and books are red. I figured out a raccoon joke while you were gone. That's a good one. The heart wants you to know that they are happy that you're still telling jokes. They miss hearing them. Yes, I will continue telling jokes until I am dead. And then I will continue telling jokes after that, because life continues after death for shapes. Oh, and they have a new joke for you. What did the square say to the circle? See you around? You got it. You are a joke master. Thank you for all your help. I have to leave now, like a tree. I must sail away. See you later. That's S-E-A, like the body of water. You are good at listening to jokes. I got into this type of work to find them. That crescent. Now I do it because I don't know what else to do. I'm not even sure what to do if I found them. I need to get some food. Did I eat today? Hmm. Someone left something on outside my office door. It was a muffin basket from the parallelogram. They're so sweet. What would happen if I sent myself through the shape tube? I wish there was a raccoon tube. Shall I press the button? Boop. Button pressed. And the day marches forward. Hello, good day. I'm a diamond. Please do not call me a rhombus. The naming of shapes is very important, and there is no reason why a rhombus can only be called a diamond if they happen to stand on one of their points. Okay. Seeing how bad my editing is, this is probably going to be a very strange clip, and that is because I have been summoned downstairs, so I had to stop the recording, and now I have to stitch them together. So yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you, I'm glad that I have come to a level-headed summoner. I would like you to summon a shape for me, but I have an ethical question first. Is it unethical to summon someone I didn't get along with at all? A shape who may not wish to hear from me? Ugh. Hmm. I suppose that by coming here, I've already made my choice, so there isn't much utility in discussing it. I would like you to summon another diamond. Here is an item they owned, an unopened bottle of extremely valuable shape wine. Shape wine is made from the juice of deceased shapes. That is disgusting and weird. This particular bottle was made from their corpse. That's even stranger. I assume the remains of their body is a personal enough item to work for the summoning? Yes, that will work. I apologize if this is upsetting. It is not uncommon for a certain higher class shapes to request that their bodies be turned into wine after death. The wine is never to be opened or drank. It is to be a lasting reminder of their elegance and superiority. Was there a message you wanted me to give to the diamond? Oh yes, well, sort of. I should explain. I was their child. They did not think of me a worthy member of their family. I just wanted to know. I would like to know if their opinion of me has changed at all since death. Ah, understood. I will perform the summoning and let you know what they say. Thank you. Maybe I can finish in time to see the sun setting. Or maybe I'll just lay on the ground for a while after my client leaves. 
Shall I summon the dead shape person? disowned because they're a rhombus and their parents are diamonds. Oh. So what do I owe the honor of this intrusion? I have been hired to summon you by another diamond, a hair of yours. I have no diamond offspring. You must be speaking of the rhombus. When I died, I used it as an opportunity to rid myself of all the undesirable elements that played in my life. They are but a stranger to me now. I have nothing to say to them. Yet yeah, you're mean, says the trash-eating bag of flesh. We are finished. I never want to see this disgusting world again. Jeez. Okay. That was very quick. It's okay. You don't need to give me the details. I can imagine what they said. Sorry, Diamond. I need some sort of closure, and now I have it. They're ridiculous, and my life is better without them in it. Thank you for your help. I will send your payment through the network. Good day. When I left the office that night, I noticed a bottle's worth of shape wine poured out on the street. That's going to smell really bad for days. Oh boy, did it ever. Good, he deserved it. Here we go, another case. Yes, it can do it. I can function as a productive citizen today. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Beep boop, another button was pressed. A crescent. That looks exactly like that one. Hello, friend. Hey, raccoon! I thought... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I didn't want you trying to find me. So I burned our house down and left without saying anything. I don't understand. I needed a change. You were getting really boring. So, you burned down the house and left. Yes, that's what I just said. You knew I was a radical when you met me. You also knew I was an arsonist. That was one of my greatest passions. I've been searching for you for so long. Why come back now? I just... I need you to know. I need you to know how boring I think you are. It's been really rough knowing that you didn't know that. Alright. Well, now I know. Great. I'm gonna jet, alright? Please don't keep looking for me. Also, I can't believe you still have that coat. Laters. Case closed, I suppose. This isn't really how I expected things to turn out. Gonna take a while to process all this. I think... I'll go to the beach. Yes, I haven't been to the beach in years. Today is a beach day, even if it rains. It did rain, but that was okay. Well, that was an interesting little story. But shapes are apparently guns. Especially crescents and diamonds. Like and favor if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below on what other games you think I should play. And your thoughts on the story. I think it was a nice little story. It was a bit long with no save button though. This video is probably close to 40 minutes long because of it, but that's fine. It's just gonna take a million years to upload. So that's that.